hear that sound. It's like stuck in harvest or something. Air pumps are running. So it's in harvest mode. Something funky going on here. So we're just gonna go ahead and watch it through a cycle. Come up to my condensers. Well, they're not plugs, but they're not clean by any means. Okay, so I turn them both off. And I'm going to start them both at the same time, even though I think there's only a problem with the left. go through my checklist here that I made. So every two minutes I'm going to write down the pressures and I'm doing the left and the right machine just to get a comparison. I'm watching them both. The top two on my left, the bottom two on my right. I'm watching the frequency at which the microphone thickness probes are sensing. Same thing on this one. Monitoring those and then I'm just watching the machine make ice. It's just a waiting game. Interesting, the evaporator slushing up right now, which is a normal occurrence. Water pump's running, you can see it moving, so it's just slushing up. That will happen most of the time after a safety, it might take two cycles to make it right. This one's running now. You can also check your sensors. Nice when you have two machines next to each other. As you can compare. 97, 97, 25, 25. In the back of your manual right here, it'll tell you, or the panel. We've got a quiet cube with two evaporators. So three and four are your two evaporator sensors. And receiver inlet, receiver outlet, T1 and T2. So it's just a way. So I already found a problem. My frequency was getting too high. I didn't get it on film. My thickness probe was way too thin. It was too close to the evaporator. It's almost impossible for me to show this to you on the camera. They have a measurement. So what I did for now is adjust it at weight fit, and then I'll set it once I get the ice. I can tell by the ice on the grid, on the evaporator plate when it's the right thickness. So then I'll set it and harvest the machine and check the thickness then. Kind of hard to see it in there. That would definitely cause a long harvest. So you kind of see the ice is starting to form. If you were here, you'd be able to feel it, but you can see it forming. A little thin on this one still. This one's a little bit thicker, but this one looks like it's kind of running out of water. So I didn't think there was a problem with this one, but check this out. Look at the water level probe. It's just dangled, so no wonder it's out of water. The water level probe's effed up. So now, I didn't have a water level probe, or it's actually the bracket that's broken. Temporarily, I just super glued it, so now it's standing straight up. I'll be able to get them by, I'll order a new bracket, and I'll change the probe too. And we're gonna watch that one make ice, then we'll time it again. So, so far, here's what we've got. Let's see. Left. Made the first batch in 14 minutes and 42 seconds. That's a wee bit on the long side. 56 second harvest. I haven't checked the pressures to the book yet. The right side, 
again, the ice was kind of wonky because that water level probe was messed up. So we'll, we'll time another cycle. But now my left, after I adjusted the ice thickness probe, we're looking much better. 10.46 for the first cycle, 44 seconds for the harvest. But I'm gonna check the pressures for the book right now. Tip, fill up the ice cart while you're working on it every chance you get. That way, when you're on the ladder and they come over here, they've already got a full ice cart. And you don't gotta get off the ladder. We're getting closer to harvest and we don't seem to be running out of water anymore. So this is on the right machine and that's because I just glued that water level probe so it stays up. You can see it, it's still really wonky there, like barely holding together. But it'll hold for the weekend, it's Friday night right now. See, we're waiting for it to make ice. It's getting thicker and thicker so it's almost there, maybe another minute or two. It's in a harvest right now. See the pressures. Head pressure is looking low. Suction pressure is not bad right now. We should fall off momentarily. Notice the frequency went way up on the microphone or water level or ice thickness probe. So it's using this air pump right here as an assist to speed up the process. And it's using cool vapor off the top of the receiver. What's that sound? You can hear back in there. You want this whole thing to fall off as a sheet. One, one full sheet. Next full sheet. Again, every two minutes, I'm doing left and right machine next to each other, okay? So every two minutes, I'm writing down the pressures. And then when everything's done all the way through the harvest cycle, I'm going to analyze it by the numbers that the book says it should be, of which I actually wrote right here. So I've got my pressures right here, so I'm watching both machines. The top two are my left machine, the bottom two are my right, and that's my outside air temperature, 73. So I do this so that way I can analyze it later if I need to. Notice this factory foam tape they send? It sucks. You know what? When we install these machines, we used to use what they would ship. We don't anymore. We get our own. We get like a neoprene foam tape that sets the machine up a half inch. And the dodo heads that they have cleaning their machines here, they come over here and they see this and they pull it out. Well then, if the machine doesn't have foam tape, and you get this crap. And the foam tape goes bad. So, give you a tip, don't use the factory foam tape. All right. We were called out on ice machines not producing ice. It's Friday night, I got the call at four o'clock, so we were on overtime. Went out to the restaurant. Uh, when I arrived, the machines, the left machine was not working properly, was not working. The right machine was producing slow and erratic ice. What I found was the left machine, the ice thickness probe was way out of adjustment. I adjusted to the proper thickness and watched the machine make ice and it's working properly now. The right machine, I found that the machine was actually running out of water during the cycle. And as you saw in the video, what I found was that the thickness probe bracket was actually broken. Um, they have uh, cleaners that come through and clean these machines. Yeah, let's not go into that, but um, they end up causing a lot of problems. So um, the bracket was more than likely broken by when the guys were cleaning it and the machine uh, was running out of water because the ice or the water level probe was sitting in there crooked and it just wasn't getting the right, you know, level set up. So temporarily I put some super glue on it. I'm going to go ahead and order the bracket and a probe. And then I went ahead and, um, went ahead and adjusted the thickness on the right machine also. So now both machines are making ice like they're supposed to be doing. Uh, one thing I did notice though, and this is a kind of a trend I've been noticing is during the harvest cycle, I've been having a lot of uh, machines that have been manufactured in the last three years. 
where they don't meet, they never make the pressures that the Manitowoc book says they should make during the harvest cycle. It'll run the head pressure and suction pressure correct, typically is what I see, but the head pressure in the harvest cycle is always low. Uh, we were running, I think, in the 140 range, I believe, was the, uh, the head pressure during harvest, and I believe the book says minimum 150, but I've chased this problem down before and never come up with a solution. I've talked to the manufacturer, they recommended me changing the headmaster, but I just don't see change in the headmaster because it's maintaining, the headmaster's working properly in the freeze cycle and it's bypassing. It's not, you know, not bypassing and I really can't see it being the compressor either. And the reason why I'm hesitant is because I've had this problem multiple times on brand new machines, you know, a month old, anywhere from a month old to three years old, I've had the same problem where you tend to see low head pressure. So I'm kind of thinking that the pressure that's published in the book is actually incorrect. Now, some of you will say, uh, you're not an engineer, you need to do what they say, da 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 da. But the problem is, is, as a contractor, they don't pay enough time for me to change the headmaster anyways. So even if it was under warranty, I lose money when I change that headmaster. So I don't want to change it unless I really have to, even if they're telling me to. Because they don't pay me my hourly rate, the full rate, you know, they pay their warranty negotiated labor rates, whatever. And uh, they never pay the full time that it takes either. Which is just, you know, we can, I can make a whole video on doing warranty work. But anyways, regardless, that's just something I noticed. So when I come back to change that bracket, I'm also going to clean the condensers because they were a little bit dirty. Um, and what I'll do is I'll put my probes on there and test the headmasters just to be safe. But when both the machines side by side are doing the exact same thing, it really makes you start to wonder. And, and in my particular situation, this, uh, the restaurants that I work on, they always have two machines right next to each other. So it's really cool to be able to diagnose and put your gauges on both. You know, you can look at the book, then you can look at the other machine and say, okay, you know, sometimes you see both machines have a problem, but most of the time it's only one machine. And it also helps you to diagnose things like this, where oh, maybe the headmaster is bad, but then you put your gauges on the other one, it's doing the same thing. And you're like, eh, I don't think so. Something's not right. And it's not, there's no safety in there. I mean, it's not uh, not making ice, it's making ice fine, but just during the harvest cycle, the head pressure comes down to 140. Sometimes even like 138, which that one kind of worries me a little bit, but I mean, I see it a lot. So regardless, I'm gonna order the parts and then we'll come back out. But other than that, they're going, the machines are making beautiful ice, pressures were great, you know, other than the head pressure and the harvest, and that's it.